Hip rails and hip channel, as you'd suspect, are installed at hip or chest level. And here's an example of one that's been installed and has plastic for the top cover and the sides already secured with wiggle wire. You can see another purpose of the hip rail is to run roll-up sides off of. So if you're going to have roll-up sides, having a hip rail is a good idea. And over here, we have a hip rail that hasn't had plastic installed yet. So we're going to show you how to install this type of hip rail. Here's the starting location. Uh, you can see here it's lined up with the middle of the end hoop. And we have a self-tapping screw, 5 16 driven through the bottom of the channel. And if you have double channel, you're going to drive self-tapping screws through both runs of channel where they contact the hoop. Take note also of the line that's on this hoop. So the hip rail is resting on the line, and it will do this the full length of the tunnel at every hoop. If you don't have lines pre-marked on your, your hoops, you'll have to designate where you want the hip rail to run. If you have to make your own lines, you're going to pick a spot on the hoops right before the bend gets tr too dramatic going up towards the peak. So still on that straight sidewall is where you're going to want that hip rail. Your end hoop was already plumb when you secured the hip rail to it, but every subsequent hoop after that will need a level put on the side of it to make sure it's completely plumb before you secure screws through the hip rail and into the hoops. Where each piece of double aluminum channel ends, there will be a 1 8 inch aluminum plate used to connect it to the next piece. And so you can see here, we're using vice grips to hold the plate against the back of that channel. You're going to want to use vice grips to keep that plate from moving at all when you're driving a screw into it. And it will prevent it from spinning around when you're driving that screw and you know hitting your knuckles and stuff like that. Once the plate is secured to the back of the channel, you're ready to drive two screws through that channel and into the plate. If it doesn't make contact with the hoop, you're just going to connect the plate to the channel. Here's a close-up of what that looks like. Once the plate's completely secured to the first channel, you should check plumb one more time, and then you're ready to butt up that second piece of channel to the plate. Adjust it as necessary when getting it up to that plate. You'll also move the hoop left or right to plumb it up. And once you get it in place, just check plumb one more time and then go ahead and secure it through the channel into the hoop. And this will hold the hoop plumb and also secure the hip rail. Once that first screw is in there, the hoop's not going to move on you. So you can go ahead and just drive a second screw through uh, the other run of channel there. And that part of the hip rail is now complete. And in some places, the plate will hit the hoop as well. You'll just go through the channel, plate, and hoop. This process of securing and plumbing and uh, running plates and pieces of channel off one another will continue the full length of the structure on each side until you get to the end. If you have too much channel and you run a few inches over the end hoop when you get to the end, just go ahead and secure it into place and use a reciprocating saw to heck off that last bit at the end hoop. Once you've done that, you have now completed the installation process of this type of hip rail. And you can now move on to the next step of your project. And once again, when you put plastic on your structure, this is what a finished hip rail will look like, running the full length of your tunnel and being used to secure plastic for your top cover. And it will also be what you run uh, your roll-up side plastic off of. If you're interested in seeing more videos relating to season extension and season extension structures, please subscribe to our channel. If you are interested in any of the materials used while making this video, Please check the description. I'll have direct links to where you can find those. Thanks for watching.